Government at all levels must prioritize the welfare of people by providing essential services which will make life comfortable for the people they govern. These welfare packages must directly impact the overall well-being, stability and prosperity of the citizens. In Nigeria, since the removal of fuel subsidy, there has been numerous packages put in place by the government to cushion the effect of the subsidy remover and make life easier for the people. Few months back, the Ogun state government, under the leadership of Prince Dapo Abiodu, massively distributed food items to the people of the state. The administration also embarked on the sales of discounted rice to the entire workforce as part of its commitment to the well-being of the citizenry. Recently, the government of Prince Dapo Abiodu flagged off the sales of discounted rice provided by the federal government under the renewed hope initiative of His Excellency, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, aimed at cushioning the effect of the fuel subsidy remover and the hardship currently being experienced in the country. The governor of Ogun State, Prince Dapo Abiodun, speaking at the flag of ceremony eroding the sales of subsidized rice to the people of the state, says the sales of the rice is a clear demonstration of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's commitment to the renewed hope initiative which is aimed at alleviating the suffering of the masses. We're here to flag off the ceremony of the sale of the federal government rice at heavily subsidized prices to the good people of Ogun State. This initiative is the initiative of our very own People loving Mr. President, President Bola Ahmed Jinubu GCFR. The testament to his commitment to ensuring that he tackles the issue of food inflation and also improves the livelihood of our people. I would like to first and foremost extend our profound our gratitude to our president, the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, His Excellency, Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu GCFR, for his unwavering dedication to not just supporting the agricultural sector, but also ensuring food security for our citizens especially in light of the current economic realities facing our nation. We will be selling food items like gari, rice, and beans at heavily subsidized prices. This is a clear demonstration of a leader who is responsive, who is thoughtful. This initiative could not have been better well time. It is appreciated and welcome, particularly following the removal of petrol subsidy, as this will go a long way into cushioning the impact of this subsidy removal. Mr. President, on behalf of the good people and government of the state, we thank you. In the same vein, I would like to commend the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development for their tireless efforts in also tackling food security and supporting farmers under the renewed hope agenda of Mr. President. The governor explained that the state will soon reach the grassroots with the sales of other food items at discounted prices. In Ogun State, the welfare of our people remains the cornerstone of our people-oriented government's policies. There is no denying that the global and national economic downturn has had a far-reaching impact on every Nigerian, particularly the most vulnerable. Many families are grappling with the rising cost of living and inflation and have limited access to basic necessities. 
The federal government, alongside with the state government, are keenly aware of the need for swift and meaningful interventions to ease these burdens on our people. We understand our responsibility to provide relief, particularly during these trying times. Both the federal and state governments remain unwaveringly committed to offering the required palliative measures to cushion the effects of this current economic situation. This flag up for the sale of rice supplied by the federal government is one of such interventions designed to offer temporary relief to our households. While this initiative is a short-term solution, reflects the commitment of both the federal and state government to respond to the present challenges affecting millions of Nigerians. It is important to note that this rice distribution is one of many interventions from both the federal and state governments. The President's vision for a prosperous Nigeria encompasses not only agricultural growth, but also it ensures that every Nigerian has access to good and affordable means of life people through initiatives like the e-transportation and the energy transition program which aims to ensure that we begin to migrate from being dependent on petrol to compressed natural gas. All these efforts and others are aimed to strengthen the Naira. Do you recall that our state government, under my leadership, had implemented this scheme about maybe two months ago, where we sold 50 kg rice at about 42,000 naira. A decision has aligned with the federal government by implementing various quality programs aimed at ensuring that we remain responsive and we're mindful of the welfare and well-being of our people during these very challenging times and beyond. We are deeply committed to sustaining these measures and ensuring that we address the root causes of this economic hardship. Abiodun says, to ensure accountability, transparency, and fairness, a strategized template has been put in place for the sales of the rice. Do you recall that our state government, under my leadership, had implemented this scheme about maybe two months ago, where we sold 50 kg rice at about 42,000 naira. A decision has aligned with the federal government by implementing various quality programs aimed at ensuring that we remain responsive and we're mindful of the welfare and well-being of our people during these very challenging times and beyond. We are deeply committed to sustaining these measures and ensuring that we address the root causes of this economic hardship. Our efforts include creating job opportunities, promoting local food production, distributing fertilizers to our local farmers, encouraging alternative transportation options, like we launched our e-bikes, began the provision of CNG fuel buses, and also we have began stimulating our small, medium scale enterprises who remain the backbone of our economy. Only recently, we went ahead and reduced the number of work days of our civil servants to three days a week. We also began the payment of transport allowance to teachers since we cannot reduce the number of their work days. The state will soon be implementing our own version of this scheme from each local government, meaning we will implement this across our 20 local governments to deepen the reach into our grassroots. The Minister of Agriculture and Food Security, Senator Abubakar Kiyare, 
represented by Mrs. Ayo Ajayi, says Ogun State is one of the states to kickstart the sales of the rice, attributing the feats to the commitment of the state governor. I want to specifically applaud the governor of Ogun State, His Excellency Prince Gapo Abiodo C.O.N. for his commitment to the welfare of the citizens of Ogun State. I must say that Ogun State is one of the pioneer states in Nigeria to enjoy this benefit. And this can be attributed to the governor's tenacity and visionary leadership. She commended the adoption of the best distribution template by the states, saying it will be adopted for use by other states in the country. I must also commend the Ogun State government for their tireless efforts at making sure the whole process is seamless. So far, Ogun State has one of the most organized distribution templates, ensuring that this gets to the three senatorial districts and to all the grassroots. This template has even attracted the interest of the team from Abuja for possible adoption in other states, and this is very commendable. I must say that this distribution is being monitored by different agencies of the federal government of Nigeria to ensure transparency, fairness, and adequate security. In the multi-agency team, we have representatives from the Office of the National Security Advisor, Federal Ministry of Agri and Food Security, National Emergency Management Authority, Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offense Commission, the Department of State Civil, I mean State Service, the Nigerian Police Force. The state team are also included in co-monitoring the Office of the Head of Service, the State Emergency Management Authority, and all the security personnel. All this is aimed at making sure that the rise gets to the intended beneficiaries. The purchase procedure is very simple also. All that is needed is an individual's NIN and an ATM card to buy a 50 kg rice for 40,000 Naira only. We want to encourage all the good citizens of the state to please support the government to make sure that all these efforts of the government is being appreciated. We wish the good state a seamless implementation. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. God bless the good state. Welcoming guest earlier, the Ogun State Head of Service, Mr. Kende Onosoya, says the initiative is powered by the federal government with the aim of improving the livelihood of the citizens at this challenging period. This initiative, which is powered by the federal government of Nigeria, is aimed at enhancing the livelihood of citizens by further cushioning the first of the petroleum subsidy removal. The federal government, in its commitment to reducing the burden of the masses, has ensured that the subsidized rice is made available to support the good people of the state during these challenging times. To start the process of this subsidized rice sale in the state, His Excellency the Governor, Prince Dr. Dabadiano Sire, we commissioned the working committee to handle the sale of the state government subsidized rice to public servants to implement a workable plan that will ensure equitable sale of the federal government rice throughout the nooks and crannies of the state. The sale has therefore been strategically designed to be spread across the three senatorial districts, reaching every segment of our society in an organized manner and particularly in line with the principles of equity, fairness, and inclusivity that His Excellency staunchly upholds. He explained that a test run of the exercise had earlier been carried out, which involved physical registrations of beneficiaries with the use of their national identity numbers, NIA, and ATM cards. I'm pleased to report that a test run of the same process was conducted yesterday, which involved the physical registration of buyers using their national identification number and payment through their respective ATM cards as directed by the Office of the National Security Advisor in Abuja. 
policy of the robust and strategic framework. This inaugural process was highly successful and thus set the policy tool for the subsequent efforts of this committee. Your Excellency, I want to thank you for the confidence you put in us. And I pray that at the end of the day, the exercise in the state will be highly successful. Several goodwill messages brought in at the event. This scheme that has come from Frank government was a replica of what His Excellency has done in the state. And it is a testament that our scheme, the sense of rights by the state government, was copied by the Frank government in order to reach every citizen of Adia State. It shows that our government is working. It shows that our government is doing what is done to the entire citizen of the state. And I want to say this that we trust him so much and what we are expecting from him very soon, I know every one of us will have good news. I want to say thank you. What I got today was it's all more than we expect. Because today is another day. These guys are going out as I, I know that he's telling you guys about 80,000 or 80 something thousand. But today now, he said that you guys in some guy by 40,000. I want to say thank you to the governor and the president of the federal government of Nigeria. Mr. Governor, thank you and thank you very much. What have I done for the chapter you in the state? I want to say thank you for you and your family. God will continue to guide you. On behalf of the regular union of pensioners, the entire pensioners of the state, I want to thank the governor for the able way he has been treating the affairs of pensioners in this state. And we pray that Almighty God will continue to guide you. More so, the relief for all the gratuity, because this guy alone, we know how much you have received. And we want to thank you very much, and we hope that before the end of this year again, we will expect something from you. God will bless you. On behalf of the Community Development Association in the state, we want to appreciate the federal government, heavily led by His Excellency, President Bola Ahmed Tinobu for this initiative to culture the effect of subsidy removal in our federation. But we want to implore our federal government to place this. To place this is a palliative for simple dog, for short time. Kindly assist us to put in place a long term palliative that will assist a lot of the citizens. We appreciate this and more blessing to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. God bless Ogo State. God bless every one of us. The joy of the people knew no bound as they expressed their gratitude to the federal and state government for the initiative. First of all, I appreciate our president, President Yunobu, for at this time, coupled with our governor, Prince Edapo Abiodun, at this crucial time that something like this is being done. Because when you go to town now, we know how much rice is being sold in the town and we know how much we are buying it here so what i would your advise the government is that this exercise shouldn't be it should be a continuous exercise at least some have benefited this month now there's nothing bad if it can be extended monthly or by monthly that at least by december a lot of beneficiary will have benefited from this exercise in respect of uh the sale of rice to the public in the, at a reduced price, being organized, being facilitated by the Ogun State Government in conjunction with the federal government. And uh, since I came here, I was observed that uh, the, 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 the people that have been invited here cut across uh, various strata, from the workers to the pensioners to the elderly, the young, as well as the, even the artisan and uh, uh, labor, labor, labor people, all of us are here to benefit from the program. Uh, we have been paying, we, we, we paid 40,000 naira for 50 kg bag of rice. And uh, on that note, I want to appreciate His Excellency for throwing the program open to all and sundry. And uh, I want to implore in the state government that they should not make it a once and for all program. I benefited. I may not need it. That's why I'm here. It's because I benefited. That's why I came here to college. You can 
It's not what they, what they say they say, it's what I'm saying. I paid yesterday and I will come and pick up my right today. That's why I'm here. So we are benefiting. Not only me, many of us. Many of our uh, outside community, they are here to, here to pay. Um, many people were here to pay. Both are here, uh, we are here today to pay. And we are here to, to collect our own share of the right from the Gulte government. And I want to really thank the governor for the slot given to Ndibo. Uh, it's a very good development at this point in time that the country is very uh, having it very tough on food. Uh, bringing this guest to, I think, a subsidy that benefits all, all of us in the nation. The non-indigenous residing in the southwest, residing in Ogu State, are benefiting. I'm one of the proof uh, evidence that benefited from this uh, guest show. We are very happy, and um, our message to the president uh, that he should continue his good work, because this is uh, the effort of show, uh, being close to the masses, bringing them uh, to, to close to the government. Uh, it's a very good gesture. We thank him so much for what he has done at this point in time. We pray for Almighty Allah for long life and prosperity for him. Uh, with this kind of gesture, I believe everybody will feel the impact of government. It's, it's, if the food issue has been taken care of, it's half of the issue that people are complaining of. Once people are well fed, people will do well. So I think it's a nice issue. So we can only appeal to him to also look at other sectors. So that, every, so that everything will be all right at the same time. Not only food area alone, and other sectors alone. Please, we thank you for this one. But please try to look at your economic policy very well. And try to help us to review it again. Because what can, mem, uh, citizens are hungry. And let the economic policy be reviewed again. That everybody can live well and be proud of our president. Because we know that he's a very brilliant person. He's a very brilliant person. That, that's why we voted for him. And we are pleading to him that he should help us to look at the economic policy and review it. If he has reviewed it very well, I know things that will be things that will be very fine in the future. It must be tough now. And only those that understood the policy understand what he's doing. But he should help us to alleviate it gradually, that people can live peacefully and can meet live commensurately with what is going on on ground. <laughs> Yeah.